What are some herbal remedies? Welcome to another episode. If you enjoy this type of content, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our latest and greatest uploads. Chamomile Flower Considered by some to be a cure-all, chamomile is commonly used in the US for anxiety and relaxation. It's used in Europe for wound healing and to reduce inflammation or swelling. Few studies have looked at how well it works for any condition. Chamomile is used as a tea or applied as a compress. It is considered safe by the FDA. It may increase drowsiness caused by medicines or other herbs or supplements. Chamomile may interfere with the way the body uses some medicines, causing too high a level of the medicine in some people. Chamomile for the skin topical, may be used to treat skin irritation from radiation cancer treatments. Chamomile in capsule form may be used to control vomiting during chemotherapy. Echinacea – leaf, stalk, root Echinacea is commonly used to treat or prevent colds, flu, and infections, and for wound healing. Many studies have looked at how well echinacea works to prevent or shorten the course of a cold, but none were conclusive. Some studies do show some benefit of using echinacea for upper respiratory infections. Short-term use is advised because other studies have also shown that long-term use can affect the body's immune system. Always check with your healthcare provider about any interactions with medicines that you are already taking. People allergic to plants in the daisy family may be more likely to have an allergic reaction to echinacea. Feverfew Leaf Feverfew was traditionally used to treat fevers. It is now commonly used to prevent migraines and treat arthritis. Some research has shown that certain feverfew preparations can prevent migraines. Side effects include mouth ulcers if the leaves are chewed and digestive irritation. People who suddenly stop taking feverfew for migraines may have their headaches return. Feverfew should not be used with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines because these medicines may change how well the feverfew works. It should not be used with warfarin or other anticoagulant medicines. Garlic, cloves, root. Garlic has been used all over the world in cooking and for its many medicinal properties. The compounds isolated from garlic have been shown to have antimicrobial, cardioprotective, anti-cancer, and anti-inflammatory properties. These properties may play a role in the belief that garlic helps lower cholesterol and blood pressure. Unfortunately, the evidence is conflicting. The FDA considers garlic safe, but it can increase the risk of bleeding and should not be used with warfarin, a blood thinner. For the same reason, large amounts should not be taken before dental procedures or surgery. Ginger Root Ginger is most commonly known as an herb for easing nausea and motion sickness. Research suggests that ginger may relieve the nausea caused by pregnancy and chemotherapy. Other areas under investigation in the use of ginger are in surgery and as an anti-cancer agent. Its wide range of actions may be due in part to its strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidative effects. Reported side effects may include bloating, gas, heartburn, and nausea in certain people. Ginkgo Leaf Ginkgo leaf extract has been used to treat a variety of conditions such as asthma, bronchitis, fatigue, and tinnitus. It is also used to improve memory and to prevent dementia and other brain disorders. Some studies have supported its slight effectiveness, but exactly how ginkgo works isn't understood. Only extract from leaves should be used. Seeds contain ginkgo toxin. This toxin can cause seizures and, in large amounts, death. Because some information suggests that ginkgo can increase the risk of bleeding, it should not be used with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines, anticoagulants, anticonvulsant medicines, or tricyclic antidepressants. Ginseng Root Ginseng is used as a tonic and aphrodisiac, even as a cure-all. Research is uncertain how well it works, partly because of the difficulty in defining vitality and quality of life. There is a large variation in the quality of ginseng sold. Side effects are high blood pressure and tachycardia. It's considered safe by the FDA, but it shouldn't be used with warfarin, heparin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines, estrogens, corticosteroids, or digoxin. People with diabetes should not use ginseng. Golden Seal Root Rhizome Golden Seal is used to treat diarrhea and eye and skin irritations. 
It is also used as an antiseptic. It is also an unproven treatment for colds. Golden Seal contains berberine, a plant alkaloid with a long history of medicinal use in both Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine. Studies have shown that Golden Seal is effective for diarrhea, but it's not recommended because it can be poisonous in high doses. It can cause skin, mouth, throat, and gastric irritation. Milk Thistle – Fruit Milk thistle is used to treat liver conditions and high cholesterol, and to reduce the growth of cancer cells. Milk thistle is a plant that originated in the Mediterranean region. It has been used for many different illnesses over the last several thousand years, especially liver problems. Study results are uncertain about the actual benefits of milk thistle for liver disease. St. John's Wort – Flower, Leaf St. John's Wort is used as an antidepressant. Studies have shown that it has a small effect on mild to moderate depression over a period of about 12 weeks, but it is not clear if it is effective for severe depression. A side effect is sensitivity to light, but this is only noted in people taking large doses of the herb. St. John's wort has been shown to cause dangerous and possibly deadly interactions with commonly used medicines. It is very important to always talk with your healthcare provider before using this herb. Saw Palmetto – Fruit Saw palmetto is used to treat urine symptoms from benign prostatic hypertrophy, or BPH, but recent studies have not found it to be effective for this condition. Side effects are digestive upset and headache, both mild. And with that, we've reached the end of this video all about some of the best herbal remedies. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for content just like it.